Hello and welcome once again to my channel, Defying the Stars, Tarot and Astrology. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, with the election coming up in the United States, I thought it would be interesting to do a natal chart analysis of the two leading candidates for president. Um, so today I'll be starting with Joe Biden and doing an in-depth analysis of his chart so that you can better understand who he is and uh, what he's all about. Here we have the natal chart of Joe Biden provided by astrotheme.com. Astrotheme.com has quite a number of natal charts of famous figures as well as historical events. Um, so I'm turning to it as I do these readings. I'll start off with Joe's chart with his Sagittarius Ascendant. Um, that's marked by the letters AC at 3 degrees Sagittarius. Sagittarius Ascendants are blunt, uh, sometimes a little too blunt. They can have a bit of a foot and mouth propensity, um, which I think has been noted for Joe Biden. But they're also very idealistic. Um, they tend to, being the sign of the archer, look toward the horizon um, and try to try to make things not as they are or a little bit better, but they really shoot for um, the best possible outcome, the highest possible ideal. Um, when a Sagittarius Ascendant is focused on a goal, they can have um, almost tunnel vision about it. They are very dedicated when they set their sights on a goal. Uh, but when they're not focused on a goal, they can seem to be sort of um, meandering at times, um, just sort of wandering aimlessly. Um, but it does tend to be more of a deliberate exploration than people realize. Um, Sagittarian energy is always in search of higher wisdom and you know, further expansion, uh, mental expansion, um, material expansion, really broadening one's horizons in every respect. Now, um, in speaking of his ascendant sign, I will point out that Uranus falls in direct opposition to his ascendant. Um, Uranus is located at two degrees Gemini for Joe Biden which is directly opposite three degrees Sagittarius. Having a, an aspect like this in your chart um, could have really an interesting effect um, because Uranus in the seventh house, for one, would lead to a bit of a bit of a radical energy in terms of how you approach others, how you approach relationships, how you approach relating one-on-one -on -one with other people. Um, but being in opposition to the ascendant, it can also make it so that you are perceived as more radical than perhaps you are. Or conversely, that you are perceived as much less radical than you are, particularly because um, that Uranus placement is hiding on the descendant, um, which is our shadow self, the self we tend to keep more to ourselves and only share with those closest to us. Um, so I think a bit of the knock that Joe Biden has gotten for being too moderate by the left is probably in large part due to that Uranus opposition. Um, moving along in his chart, um, the most significant thing in any chart is obviously the sun sign. That is the placement that everyone knows from their own personal horoscope. Um, for Joe Biden, his son is in Scorpio along with Venus, Mercury, and Mars, which is quite a significant cluster of personal planets in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is an incredibly charismatic sign, 
but it is also very private. Um, it can be a bit secretive to the extent that people with heavy Scorpio placements, they're, they're very attractive to others, but you get the sense that you never really truly know them. Um, this was um, probably a problem for um, another Scorpio in the last presidential election, Hillary Clinton. In terms of, of keeping too much hidden um, to the extent that you're not really sure who they are or what they're about. And now Joe Biden having all of these planets in Scorpio in the 12th house, that lends it a more Piscean element. Um, the 12th house is ruled by the sign of Pisces. Um, the 12th house is everything to do with things that are on a higher plane. They are outside the material plane. Um, the subconscious, the psyche, that sort of um, intangible element of human existence. You know, you can't, you can't see it, you can't touch it, but you know it's there. Um, so Joe Biden exists very strongly in this realm. Um, with, with all of these placements in Scorpio, I, I would say that this is a person who has a very deep understanding of human nature, of human psychology, um, someone who is able to see very deeply into what makes people tick, um, why people do the things they do, um, and think the way they think. Um, and, you know, with, with Mars, especially in Scorpio in the 12th house, Mars for and those who identify as masculine tends to present very strongly. Um, and a Scorpio Mars exudes a very powerful um, charismatic energy, um, which suits politicians very well uh, and likely has, has contributed to um, Joe Biden's career. Um, for those who have watched Parks and Rec, you may recall that Leslie Nope has a bit of a crush on Joe Biden, um, thinks he's dead sexy. Uh, that could very well be attributed to his Scorpio placements as well. Um, and Scorpio placements are just terribly attractive in that way. Um, but moving along from that, um, another thing I want to point out about these planets is um, Mercury being in the 12th house. It can make it hard. 12th houses have a hard time communicating um, because they're not comfortable on the earthly plane so much as they are on the mental plane or the, the spiritual plane. Um, so they can sometimes have a hard time translating to the rest of the world. Um, and with four planets in that 12th house energy, um, again, it's a lot that stays hidden, a lot that never gets shown. Um, people with this many 12th house placements tend to be very introverted, um, which makes it surprising to me that Joe Biden is such a charismatic figure, that he is, um, you know, a campaigner and someone who interacts regularly with people. Um, for a lot of 12th housers, that would be very challenging. Um, people with a lot of 12th house placements tend to be quite empathetic, um, you know, picking up on other people's energies, feelings, vibrations. Um, and in that regard, um, doing the work that he does would be very, uh, very taxing on him, I would imagine. Um, and so it, it really is about more than, than status and image for him. I would say based on this chart. And let me move on to some other placements to explain why. His midheaven, um, the big circle with MC in it at 19 degrees Virgo, uh, his midheaven in Virgo indicates someone whose public image is that of someone who is very humble, very service oriented, um, very giving, very detail oriented. Um, Virgo is the sign of the Virgin, um, so there's a bit of a reserve there. Um, but it's also, it is very much about service, about 
helping others um, and, and putting others' needs before the self. Um, and so that, for Joe Biden, is very much um, how he wishes to be seen and, and I think, to a certain extent, how he is seen. It's also an indicator of what he wants to do for a living. Someone with a, a Virgo midheaven wants a career that allows them to help others, that allows them to give. Um, and so um, for a Virgo midheaven to go into politics, um, it is likely out of a desire to serve more than a desire for, um, more than a desire for power, I would say. With the Scorpio placements, Scorpio placements do tend to enjoy power. Um, but the overall vibe I have of this chart is really more someone who is trying to serve others. And that is emphasized for me by the North Node, um, sometimes called the True Node, um, falling at zero degrees Virgo for Joe Biden. Um, the True Node is kind of the path we're really meant to follow in life. Um, it's, it's the path to our highest good. Um, and it is very challenging to follow it. Um, it's never easy, uh, because it does, it does force us out of our comfort zone and into things that are less natural for us, but that are very important for us to do. And, uh, with that node falling in, Virgo in the ninth house. Um, this is someone who has a higher calling to to serve others and to aim for those higher ideals. The ninth house is associated with Sagittarius, and as we've already discussed, Joe has that Sagittarian energy already on his ascendant. Sagittarius again is about expansion, um, aiming for higher ideals. Um, it's a very philosophical place. It's a very, it's a very learned place. It's all about learning from experiences, learning from others, learning from the, those who have come before, from the masters. So this is someone who wants to achieve those higher ideals in service to others, as indicated by that Virgo energy. Um, so in terms of that midheaven and that north node, um, you can really see in Joe Biden someone who is driven to, uh, driven to help, driven to serve. Now, uh, it, going further into his 10th house, we have Neptune at one degree Libra in the 10th house. And Neptune is our imagination center. It is, it is our highest dreams. Um, it is a window into our subconscious oftentimes. Um, Neptune can be more of a generational placement because it is very slow moving as an outer planet. You know, people will be born with Neptune in a certain sign for years at a time. Um, but the house placement is significant. Um, because depending what time of day you were born, Neptune could be in any house in your chart. So having Neptune in his 10th house tells me that Joe Biden's dreams tend to be related to the legacy that he is going to leave. Um, it's a very paternal energy being in the 10th house. Um, it's about... It, when when people talk about um, creating a better future for their children, that is exactly the energy I'm getting from that Neptune placement in the 10th house. And with it being in Libra, it is a balanced energy. Um, it's, it's trying to bring harmony um, into the future. It's trying to bring peace and equality. Um, so, you know, when he says things like, you know, um, he wants to bring the country together, I, I don't think that's entirely rhetoric. I think that to a certain extent, that's his Neptune and Libra speaking of wanting things to be harmonious once again. Some other placements that are significant for Joe Biden. Um, and Joe Biden has 
Pluto in the eighth house in Leo. Um, the Pluto in Leo generation um, is is a lot of that baby boomer generation. Um, generally, generationally, they're 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 quite proud. Um, they can be resistant to change, um, but with Pluto in the eighth eighth house here. I, I feel that Joe Biden has a strong ability to evolve and overcome and transcend and, and sort of up his game when it comes to the darker side of life. Um, the eighth house is associated with Scorpio. Um, Scorpio energy is all about um, transformation and the things that people like to keep hidden. Um, so the eighth house is often associated with death, um, sex, things that are taboo, um, the, the, the spiritual world. Um, so I think the Pluto placement here in the eighth house indicates that for Joe Biden, he's probably had many evolutions, um, in terms of his spiritual beliefs. Um, he's probably had, um, many evolutions in, in dealing with death, which I think is very evident from his life history, um, having lost, having lost many members of his immediate family. Um, I, I, with Pluto in the eighth house, I would say that that's something that he has grown from and evolved through. He also has Jupiter in the eighth house um, in Cancer. Um, Jupiter in Cancer is someone who's very fortunate in family. They are very abundant in family. Um, they, they express a lot of their energy toward home and that inner environment. Um, so I think with Jupiter being the way it is, Jupiter tends to it's where we are most blessed in our lives, but it's also where we can be prone to excess. And so I think Jupiter in Cancer in the eighth house um, could, could lead to an excess of being too withdrawn, too reserved, going too far within, um, and not being quite as present in the moment or in any situation. Um, but in terms of any vices that might be associated with it, I feel like those are much more private and personal to him than something that would come out um, in, in you know, the, the worldly sphere. Um, another thing I will mention about Joe's chart is Saturn falling within the seventh house. Saturn is where we feel most, most inhibited, most restricted. Um, Saturn in the seventh house would indicate that Joe Biden feels very inhibited in terms of dealing with others. Um, he's very free with representing his self, but in terms of interacting with others, I think he feels very restricted. Um, Saturn being in Gemini would be another reason for difficulty with communication um, because Gemini is the sign of communication. It's ruled by Mercury. Um, Virgo as well, which he has his midheaven and, and true note in, is also ruled by Mercury. But Gemini is a much more quick-moving mercurial energy because it is air rather than earth. Um, so um, it, in, in a sense, that, that Saturn placement makes that air energy of Gemini so heavy and so bogged down and really does gum up communication. Um, one last thing that I will speak to in Joe Biden's chart is his moon sign. Um, Joe's moon sign is in Taurus. Um, Taurus moons are very steady people. They are very cool and collected emotionally. Um, they are not prone to emotional outbursts. They are not prone to any kind of extreme emotions in general. Um, that's not to say that they never feel them, but um, they are much more even keeled 
in dealing with emotion than someone with a more um, mutable or, um, you know, fiery, airy moon. Um, A Taurus moon is about as steady as it gets. Um, So in terms of presidential behavior, um, this is someone who is not going to be easily swayed by emotion or um, overwhelmed by stress. Um, This is someone who's pretty much going to keep their cool at all times, um, which personally I would think would be a good quality uh, for the job, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. Um, Those are the major factors in Joe Biden's chart. In terms of aspects, he does not have a lot of significant aspects between planets in his chart. Um, He has a conjunction of Sun and Venus, which um, lends him a great deal of um, grace and attractiveness. Um, So that's always a benefit, but um, uh, also an appreciation for beauty and appreciation for an appreciation for comfort, and a strong sense of values. Venus is often associated with love and beauty, but it's also very closely tied to what we value as individuals. And um, to have the sun in conjunction with Venus means that on a core level, at his sense of self, he feels a very strong sense of values. Um, Other significant placements... um, Jupiter is in trine with his son, um, which is more lucky for him than anything. Um, it could, um, there's really no downside to it. It's, it's mostly just brings him a lot of good fortune and the ability to, to grow and expand without getting carried away. Um, we already discussed the Uranus opposition to the Ascendant and how that might reflect. Um, the only other um, placement um, that I'd really uh, speak to is Mercury in sextile to his midheaven. Um, that indicates a good ability to communicate um, your vision for the future, a good ability to communicate um, the image that you would like to project to others, um, a good ability to communicate one's aspirations. Um, so overall impressions of Joe Biden's chart, this is someone who is uh, service-oriented, um, very much in touch with human nature, probably very much in touch with his own psyche, um, a deep thinker, um, someone who is not overly emotional, um, who, who keeps a very even temperament, and someone who is very idealistic and um, very determined to leave a better future. Um, those are my overall impressions of this chart. Um, I would love to hear what you think of this reading, if you enjoyed it, if you um, have any additional questions about it, and if there's any other readings that you would like to see in the future, um, if you would like to see other figures, celebrities, I will be following this up with a natal chart analysis of Donald Trump as well. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for joining me.